Amateur and professional stargazers have been captivated by never-before-seen images of the depths of the universe thanks to NASA's powerful orbital observatory. Yeah, the new pictures from the James Webb Telescope include a close-up of massive clouds of gas and dust created by the Southern Ring and Carina Nebulas. Both are located thousands of light years from Earth. The photo of the Carina Nebula includes stars that had previously been hidden from view. The collection also includes a galaxy cluster known as Stevens Quintet. Four of the five galaxies in the cluster collide, pulling and stretching each other out. So you've never seen more smiling astronomers <laughs> than you have seen when these images were, of course, released. There is another one joining us now. Rachel Ward-Maxwell is the staff astronomer at the Ontario Science Centre, and she joins us live now on CP24 Breakfast. Good morning, Rachel. Thanks for being with us. So let's talk about your reaction to when these first images came out. What did you feel? Was it a sur sense of surrealness, excitement? Absolutely. There was so much anticipation for these images to be released and so much... Uh, you know, so tentative about, you know, is the telescope going to work when the first <laughs> images were released from the Hubble Space Telescope? It didn't work. They needed to send up some astronauts to do some corrective uh, maintenance. And so that was never on the table uh, for JWST. And so to see these images in all their glory, it was just stunning and surprising. Just, just absolutely uh, phenomenal. Hmm. Rachel, for amateur astronomers and stargazers, just everyday people, what should we be looking for? What, what do you think we should be most excited for about this? It's hard for me to just pick one thing to be excited about. One of the things that really surprised me was one of the instruments that Canada built, NEARIS, looked at an exoplanet around a distant star, mm -hmm. what was thought to be cloudless, and actually was able to measure that it has clouds and haze that include water vapor. This is a Jupiter-sized planet that's very close to its parent star, and JWST is actually going to be able to probe even to smaller planets to look at Earth-like planets and search for signatures of water and maybe even signatures of biological life. So wow. that's, that's a goal of JWST that I'm really excited about. And then from these images, some of the mid-infrared images, that range of light that we can't see with our eyes, that's revealed a lot that we didn't even know about just these objects that we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, Rachel, we're seeing some images. We put them on, on the screen of, you know, the nebula, the, the star yes. dying of the different galaxies, the dancing galaxies, all these colors. Now, we've seen these, you know, images perhaps printed before on school binder covers, uh, in science fiction magazines or even real science magazines. Are these images that we're seeing being released never before seen before? Because why do they look so familiar if that's the case? They look quite familiar because these targets were also imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope, mm. but these are in much greater resolution. There are some uh, wonderful side-by-side -side comparisons. The, the galaxy cluster of uh, that we saw, which with all those galaxies in the background, mm -hmm. that took that took almost two weeks for the Hubble Space Telescope to image. And with JWST, it took 12 and a half hours. Wow. So it's so much more powerful. These beautiful uh, galaxies that you're showing right now, one of my favorite objects, Stefan's Quintet, in the top right galaxy, you can actually see there's an active black hole there. Mm. Um, and these stellar death and stellar life, those are things that I get most excited about <laughs> is the birth and death of stars. We're going to learn so, so much about the origins of all these different objects in our universe, including the origins of the elements that make up who we are, too. Rachel Ward-Maxwell, staff astronomer at the Ontario Science Centre. Thank you very much for joining us and sharing your excitement this morning. Thank you. Thank you.